Good evening. Thank you for joining me at evening prayer or vespers, the old term. This uh, is a special vespers because it's, we anticipate tomorrow, which is the feast of the sacred heart of Jesus. And so the, we've gone into white or gold. And uh, although the tabernacle stood at green for what's happened today, Sometimes we get so busy we can't keep up with the colour changes, but they will all be changed by tomorrow morning Mass, I'm sure. We come before the Lord rejoicing because we've had another day of life, another day full of opportunities. Whether we've had problems and sadness or whether it's joys or whether it's just been plain boring um, for some people. I don't find that life is at all boring for me. uh, I can't keep up with it. It's so fast moving. Perhaps I'm slowing down. I know I'm slowing down. But uh, it's just one of those times when we reflect in the evening and thank God for all the blessings that we have received. And sometimes they may not be very apparent. They are things, if we stop and look back what people have said, how situations have turned out, very often we've had many blessings and they pass us by because they're not uh, groundbreaking or anything like that. But we are blessed in so many ways. Blessed today, um, having celebrated two masses, but um, and then I sat down to lunch, only to be called out about four minutes after um, to the hospital for somebody who was uh, in a very bad state. Um, but that's always a a thing worthwhile. It's something that's uh, you feel that perhaps you're doing something for those people and the families gathered around the bedside. And I'll continue to pray for those people that we get called out with to throughout the week, sometimes at night, but usually in the daytime. The hospitals are a very busy place and uh, sometimes families forget when their loved one is in there and in a very bad state, perhaps they're dying. Of course, all their thoughts are concentrated on their loved one. Sometimes they forget to call the priest until it's very, very late and... uh, Far better to call him too early than too late. Um, One family did say to me quite astonishingly um, when I got there and I found that the person had died. They said, well, we waited until he died before we called you, Father. And I said, because that's when the last rites are. I said, no, they're not. (laughs) They can't be administered to a corpse. It's for the living. The sacrament of healing is for the living to prolong their lives if possible to heal the person. And it's not just an end of life thing either. It is for anybody who is undergoing a serious operation or something like that, where the life could be in danger. Um, That's a time for healing. And that very often carries you through that and brings you out the other side. Um, Frequently now we anoint people when they know they're going in for some serious surgery. And we always anoint them if if they ask us to. Um, we're ready there to do that because it is a very healing uh, sacrament. So many, many times in the hospital, um, as I've said before, there are remarkable um, turnarounds in the what everybody was predicting was happen. That all the medical staff saying there's no hope. He'll be gone tonight or should be gone in the morning or whatever. And uh, very often they're back in our churches um, and carrying on sometimes for years after that event. Um, But there is a time, of course, when we have to give up. We have to lay down things and surrender. And it's a lovely way of peacefully going, making one's confession and being made one with the church completely. And that gives the person themselves a complete peace of mind that they've confessed everything, that they've had a good life, perhaps. And we pray together and uh, they slip away in, in the time, not always straight away. Sometimes when we're there, more often than not, an hour or two later or a day or even a week later, uh, the Lord knows when he calls people. Um, we don't. But so don't leave it too late. If you know someone who is very ill, uh, call the priest in good time. Because there's always hope that they will pull through. Or if not, it will give them that rest and peace of mind as they slip away. So we all come round to the What are we going to when we do die? We go into the heart of Jesus, if you like, the love of Jesus. And that's what really flows out into the church, the love of Jesus. Centred on the heart because uh, 
that's very often uh, where we feel emotions. Um, but it's just centred on Jesus himself. His humanity, as he had a human heart, and he went round curing and loving people all the time and showing that great love so much, supremely, that he gave himself up on the cross for us. There's nothing more supreme than that. So we now remember him coming to earth to show us how to live and to also to die for us. But how that all happened was through the Angelus. That started it off. And that's what we'll start off our liturgy with tonight. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glories of his resurrection. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. And the hymn we'll use for Vespers is number 39 in the breviary, O Sacred Heart. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. O Sacred Heart, our home lies deep in thee. On earth thou art an exile's rest, in heaven the glory of the blessed, O Sacred Heart. O Sacred Heart, thou fount of contrite tears, where'er those living waters flow, New life to sinners they bestow, O Sacred Heart. O Sacred Heart, our trust is all in thee. For though earth's night be dark and drear, thou breathest rest where thou art, where thou art near, O Sacred Heart. O Sacred Heart, when shades of death shall fall, receive us neath thy gentle care and save us from the tempter's snare, O Sacred Heart. O sacred heart, Lord, exile, lead exiled children home, where we may ever rest near thee, in peace and joy eternally. O sacred heart. God has loved us with an everlasting love. Therefore, when he was raised up from the earth, he showed us his mercy and drew us to love his sacred heart. O praise, O servants of the Lord, praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed both now and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, be praised the name of the Lord. High above all the nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is glory. Who is like the Lord, who in his great throne? Who has risen on high to his throne, yet stoops from heights to look down, to look down upon heaven and earth. From the dust he lifts up the lowly. From his misery he raises the poor. He sets him in the company of princes, yes, with the princes of his people. To the childless wife he gives a home and gladdens her heart with children. Glory be to the Father 
and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. God has loved us with an everlasting love. Therefore, when he was raised from the earth, he showed us his mercy and drew us to love his sacred heart. Learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for your souls. My soul give praise to the Lord. I will praise the Lord all my days. Make music to my God while I live. Put no trust in princes, in mortal men in whom there is no help. Take their breath, they return to clay, and their plans that day come to nothing. He is happy who is helped by Jacob's God, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who alone made heaven and earth, the seas and all they contain. It is he who keeps faith forever, who is just to those who are oppressed. It is he who gives bread to the hungry, the Lord who sets prisoners free. The Lord who gives sight to the blind, who raises up those who are bowed down. The Lord who protects the stranger and upholds the widow and orphan. It is the Lord who loves the just but thwarts the path of the wicked. The Lord will reign forever, Zion's God from age to age. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for your souls. I am the good shepherd who leads his sheep to good pastures and I lay down my life for my sheep. Worthy are you, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power for you created all things and by your will they existed and were created. Worthy are you, O Lord, to take the scroll and to open its seals for you were slain and by your blood you ransomed men from God from every tribe and tongue and people and nation. You have made us a kingdom and priests to our God, and we shall reign on earth. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honour and glory and blessing. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I am the good shepherd who leads his sheep to good pastures and lay down my life for my sheep. Christ loved the church and sacrificed himself for her to make her holy. He made her clean by washing her in water with a form of words so that when he took her to himself, she would be glorious, with no speck or wrinkle or anything like that, but holy and faultless. Christ loved us and washed away our sins with his blood. Christ loved us and washed away our sins with his blood. He made us a kingdom and priests to serve his God and Father. Christ loved us and washed away our sins with his blood. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Christ loved us and washed away our sins with his blood. I have come to spread fire on earth and how I wish it were blazing already. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth, all ages will call me blessed. The almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. 
He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy. The mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I have come to spread fire on earth, and how I wish it were blazing already. We make our prayers to Jesus, in whom we find rest for our souls, and we say to him, Beloved Lord, Have mercy on us. Jesus, your heart was pierced by the lance and from it flowed blood and water so that your bride, the church, might be born. Keep us in holiness without spot or wrinkle. Beloved Lord, have mercy on us. Jesus, holy temple of God, you were condemned by men and raised up by the Father. Make the church the tabernacle of the Most High. Beloved Lord, have mercy on us. Jesus, King and centre of all hearts, in your loving mercy you never cease to draw us to yourself. Keep alive your covenant with us all. Beloved Lord, have mercy on us. Jesus, our peace and reconciliation From the cross you forgave your enemies and you bring all people together in peace. Show us how to reach the Father. Beloved Lord, have mercy on us. Jesus, our life and resurrection, you lighten our burden and give rest to our souls. Draw all sinners to yourself. Beloved Lord, have mercy on us. Jesus, Because of your infinite love, you were obedient even unto death on a cross. Bring to life all those who are sleeping in peace. Beloved Lord, have mercy on us. prayers you sent in this evening Val asks that we pray for the well-being of Linda Collins please pray for Christoph Kintis very unwell in the Royal Surrey County Hospital Charmeline asks that we pray for the Fernando family Also for the souls of Beatrice Pereira and Kingsley Pereira. It would have been Beatrice's 109th birthday today. We're asked to pray for the soul of Bob Roberts on the anniversary of his passing. This day in 1982. We pray for those who are recently deceased. Evelyn Johnson, who was buried yesterday in this parish. And we also pray for the soul of Pat Woodbridge. And among our deceased clergy, today is the anniversary of the death of Deacon John Brockman. A colleague of mine who was, I knew, in the 1990s. We pray for a deeper understanding between Christians and Jews at this time. We pray that our general election hustings will be less frenetic and more reasoned and sensible and concentrated on policies. We commend to God the souls of all the faithful departed this life, particularly our own loved ones, 
We look forward to when we will join them and see them again. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. Amen. Prayer for the, the Lord, the word who is life. May all the people of our diocese grow in openness to the power of the Holy Spirit, so that through a growth in understanding and courage and truly open to your call, we may bear powerful witness to all around us. For you are Lord forever and ever. Amen. Let us join all our prayers in that great prayer that our Saviour Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Almighty God and Father, we glory in the sacred heart of Jesus, your beloved Son. As we call to mind the great things his love has done for us, fill us with the grace that flows in abundance from the heart of Jesus, the source of heaven's gifts, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As we go in the peace of Christ, we sing the evening anthem to our Blessed Lady. Salve Regina, Mata misericordiae, vita dolcedo, et spes nostra salve. A te clamamos, exules filiae ebe, a te sustimamus, gementes et flentes, in hac lacrimarum vale. Ea ergo, Advocata nostra, illos tuos misericordes oculos, et nos converte. Et Jesum, benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis post hoc exilium ostende. O clemens, O pia, O dulcis, Virgo Maria. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. 